Welcome to It's Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got another video today with uh, Mr. Kevin Samuels, the godfather himself. Rest in peace. Um, probably one of the biggest influential men in this space. He, he passed a few months ago, but big influence to most men nowadays i, I want to say so uh, please put a like and subscribe down below i really appreciate this this is just this video is the godfather himself just trying to educate women on <laughs> where they belong to the truth <laughs> all right guys it's chow time you said you're a professional you're a therapist did you have a bachelor's master's what a bachelor's and i'm going for my master's right now. Yep. And how much do you anticipate making midway through your career? By the so, time you're 45 years old, about how much do you think you'll be making annually? So right now, I'm making about 79, almost 80. 79,000. So midway through your career, about 45, what do you think you'll be making? Uh, probably over a mil. Did you guys hear what you just said? Over a million dollars someone's annually <laughs> yeah Crazy. because what i'm trying to do with mental health in our community i think people are going to accept it more than they do. this really shows that women really live off of like possibilities other than probabilities like men do <laughs> just silence okay so if i wanted a high value man what do i do be reincarnated. <laughs> you can't get one. I'm going to be honest, you can't. You're 37 with two kids. If they're less than 10% of the men, why would he pick you over a woman with no children? It's an evil world we live in. The man said he liked you. Yes. And he, and he dated you for a month. Yes. How long before you were intending to have sex with him? He's 30 years old. He's not a virgin. Ballpark it for me. Maybe two months in. Did you tell him that? No, but I told him I had bad experiences with men in the past. Well, there you go. Ding, 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 ding. Making a man in your present pay for stuff in your past equals yep. no future. But it is part of my... Your problem. My, no, it's just, it's like a trauma, right? So Okay, due respect, you're a problem. The world doesn't owe you and me understanding. Come out, put your big girl panties yep. on, and, and, and grow up. Yep. Please tell me you're addressing your trauma with a professional therapist. No. Nope. Exactly. The man... Yeah. In 80 to 90% of the relationships, black women are leaving. You're home wrecking. You're breaking up the relationships. Men stay. Why do you think women are leaving? Because you've been sold a Disney fantasy that you should be Damn. happy. Instead of understanding that you have duty, yep. honor, respect, and you, got, and you chose to be in a relationship, especially when you decided to make a baby with somebody, you need to stay for more than just yourself. French toast your happiness. Yep. So I should settle. No, you should. Are you a Christian? I'm not. Well, did you have you been married? No, I haven't. You plan on getting married? I would like to. What vows do you plan on taking? Yep. I don't want to settle for nothing less. What vows do you plan on taking? I plan on... For better, for worse, sickness and health, the rich of war, the death do its part. That he says shit about happiness. Right. So I'm supposed to be miserable. No, you're supposed to be an adult. Oh, mm. That one, there was a violation. Right? Personally, I wouldn't have it. The people that really care about their happiness the most and don't care about anything else are kids or children because they don't have to worry about anything else. It's not like that for adults. How much do you weigh? That's none of your business. I told you I was fat. Oh, okay. We don't play that shit on my channel. Oh, okay. The reason he was upset at this because he asses everybody's weight on his show. It doesn't matter what it is, who you are, what you look like. is just part of his thing. So she knows exactly what he was going to ask. And for her to get upset about it is just outlandish. You get your big fat ass on somewhere then. I don't deal with you big sassy ass broads. All right? I don't... Nobody wants to deal with a sassy woman like that. You know, at this 
current moment in my life and I want to be selfish. You know what I'm saying? Why did I make a baby? That's the goal. Why did That's I make a baby? One, I was young. Two, um... You were, 20, you were, you were 24. Yes. Yeah, this is the thing about women. Oh, I was 22, 23, 24. I was so young. I didn't know anything. That doesn't even make sense. You weren't young. You say you want to be selfish, and I'm just sitting here listening. I'm like, you're a mother. Yeah, selfish for my daughter. Uh, reason no, you have to... except for your daughter. You I love that Cam Samuel I always know. fucking calls them out on their very, bullshit. I hear very well. I hear very well. And you only brought your daughter up when I called it out. What are you Damn doing in right. single years is going to help you become a wife? I work on myself. Work on what my priorities, my goals, my... My, 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 my. Johnny Gill ass. My, 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 me, 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 me. <laughs> Listen to this selfishness. I'm proud. I'm proud. If you want to say I'm being selfish, okay, Dude, I'm finally being this? selfish. Women are proud to be Good. selfish. Die alone. You can be proud and die alone. That's cool. <laughs> oh god, I love the Godfather. He's there's a reason why he's the Godfather. Uh. Was your grandmother married? Yes, my grandmother was. But that's the thing with I'm trying to explain to you. We in two different generations right now. The generation that you're trying to explain to us, we're my generation is not living like that no more. Yeah, and that's why you're dying by yourself. Yep. But who says there isn't a man that's that's willing to take me for him to me for me? For One me. in four of you will marry. I mean, look, ma'am, the stats <laughs> don't work for your argument. <laughs> Prior to 1965, black black people were married at a rate of 80 percent. You go out to any cemetery, you'll see a black a black man buried next to a black woman. Mm -hmm. But you go after 1990, and you'll start seeing black women buried around her children. Yep. Why is that? Because y'all are unruly, unsubmissive, and out of line. <laughs> God damn, Kevin. You, you, you the goat? Men don't care about your money. Men pick women based upon what? Their looks and what they have to offer. No, their no. looks and their body. That's where it starts. Yeah. So, on the scale, how tall are you? I'm 5'10". Dress size? About four. How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? 160. Mm, a little on the heavier side. Uh, if you had to rank yourself on a scale from 0 to 10, you can't use 7. Fresh face out of the shower, your hair, what would you give yourself? Okay. I'm... Always comes with the BS. You can't just give a straight answer. Always have to work around the answer. I consider a 10 to be... I know you don't consider Beyonce to be a 10, okay? Nope. <laughs> but I consider Beyonce to be a 10. I, I don't care. I consider Jessica Alba to be a 10. I would rank myself at a 9. Yeah, okay. In nobody's life are you a 9. I, I Especially if you're a 6.5 six and, and 7. Men don't care about your money. Men pick women based on... On a scale from zero on one to ten, you can't use seven. What would you rate your looks? Fresh face out of the shower with your natural hair. A ten. See, it's funny because I put this video right after the other one when the other girl woman said that she was a nine. And she was definitely better looking than this woman. But this woman thinks she's a ten. Your face? Yes. A ten. <laughs> I'm always going to give myself a ten. I'm not going to ever give myself. All right. Back. So uh, there we go right there, people. That's all you can make. You see all the hearts people losing? See, uh, you can you can cap all you want to, but you're, mean, not, you're not an international supermodel. Nope. You're not an international. And I'm just trying to ask you. That's the thing that women so don't you, realize that what a point, 10 is. I feel like you have been pretty reasonable. But now if you want to do that, I think we should probably end it because I don't, I don't play those games. I'm doing something for a good reason. Yep. And I'm trying to be helpful. Man, you and Rihanna walk into the room, don't nobody confuse you. <laughs> You're not a 10. No, You're not a 10. Beyond You're not a 10. Beyond You're not a 10. But, but that's the point. But that's, that's a 10. You're not a 10. I talk about dress size, not weight. Okay, dress size, it's still in the same correlation. No, it's not. It is absolutely not. You can wear dress size 6. Or dress size four and have a different body composition because muscle weighs more than fat. Yep. See, I've I've accounted oh, for so that. You do know that. 
Well, look here, smart ass. Yep. I'm the fucking image consultant, and I'm about to make a real bad day for you if you don't check that smart ass mouth talking to a grown damn man. The disrespect that women show, even to their elders. Kevin is in his 50s. I would, even if I disagreed with someone, at least how I was raised, I'm an Asian household, I never would disrespect an elderly person. And to us, elderly is anybody almost like 10 years older than us. So we consider them elderly in a sense, in traditions where they automatically get an utmost respect because they've lived on earth longer than us. Yes, not everybody deserves respect, but everybody deserves respect when you first meet them. You don't just disrespect people off the bat. That's just ridiculous. How'd you guys like that, chow? Did you like The Godfather? Rest in peace. There's a big reason why, he's probably one of the main reasons why I'm in this space and doing the videos that I do. I learned a lot from him. Uh, it's sad to see someone like him that is so influential past like that. If he was still alive now, I think uh, a lot more men would have a little bit more guidance overall. So this is what I try to do, just help. I'm not here to shit on women or anything like that. It's just guiding men to, to see what's going on. Just, like I said, it's a red pill thing. So, all right, guys, I appreciate everything. Again, like and subscribe down below. I love you guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. It's a chow time.